Okay guys, welcome back to tutorial number 23 and in this video we are going to be learning about class inheritance. Now in ES 2015, class inheritance is possible with the extends keyword. So the extends keyword is used to create a new class that inherits from a parent class. Let's have a look at an example. I'm going to create a class called person and within the body all we are going to have is a constructor. And within the constructor, we're just going to log to the console person constructor. Now let's create a new class called class employee that inherits from this person class. So to do that, we are going to use the extends keyword followed by the name of the parent class. So person in our case. And for this example, I'm going to leave the body of this employee class blank, but we are going to create a new instance of it. So let E is equal to new employee. So now when we save this and head over to the browser, it says person constructor. So even though the derived class has no constructor of its own, when we create a new instance of employee, the constructor method of class person, which is the parent class, is invoked. And this holds true even for parameterized constructors. So if you pass a name and then pass name plus, and then over here, let's pass a name. So even though the employee class does not have a parameterized constructor, it is going to invoke the constructor of the parent class. So Chandler is going to replace this name over here. And if we head over to the browser, we see Chandler person constructor. So to create a new class, we use class keyword followed by name of the class. And to inherit from that class, we use the extends keyword followed by the name of the parent class. And in ES 2015, if there is no constructor in the derived class, the constructor from the parent class is going to get invoked. Now, let's have a look at a scenario where we have a constructor within the derived class as well. So here in class employee, we can create a constructor. This is going to accept a name. And then we're just going to log to the console name plus employee constructor. Now, if you have a look at this, we have a red squiggly underline. And if I hover over it, it says constructors for derived classes must contain a super call. So to eliminate this error, I'm going to introduce a new keyword called super. And this is going to accept name as well. Now, why is this keyword necessary? Well, the parent class constructor needs to be called before the subclass constructor. And this ensures that if you call any method on the parent class in the constructor, the parent is already successfully set up. So the super keyword right here is going to invoke the constructor of the parent class. And this is going to ensure everything from there, from there onwards is going to function fine. So super keyword to call the constructor from the parent class. So now when we save this, it says Chandler person constructor, which is the parent constructor, and then Chandler employee constructor, which is the derived class constructor. Okay, so next thing, let's create a new method get ID. And this is just going to return 10. Now, over here, I'm going to log to the console e dot get id. Now, if you have a look at this over here in our derived class, we don't have a method called get id. However, because our parent class has a method called get id and we are inheriting that class to class employee, we have access to this method using the instance of employee class. So E dot get id is going to call the get id method of the parent class. So when we save this, we get the value 10. 
So now let's say we have a get ID method over here in the derived class. So let's return 50. What do you think the what what do you think the output is going to be? So let's go over here. It says 50. So when the derived class has the method, it is going to call the method from the derived class. If it is not present, it is going to call the method from the parent class. But now, how do we access this parent class method? Now, this is where the super keyword comes into play again. So instead of returning 50, we can say return super dot get ID. So when we save this, we get 10, which is the return value from the parent get ID method. So that's pretty much it about class inheritance. We mainly focus on two keywords, the extends keyword and the super keyword. The extends keyword is used to inherit from the parent class, which is specified on the right hand side. And the super keyword is used to invoke the constructor of the parent class so that the rest of the code functions properly. And the super keyword is also used to get access to the methods that are, that are defined in the parent class. So here, get id is also present in the parent class and the derived class and if you want to access this get id from the parent class we do a super dot get id so that brings us to the end of classes from the next video we are going to be focusing on modules so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one